Look how adorable this hand sanitizer case is. Thank you so much to the team at Mercy Handy for sending me all of this hand sanitizer. They will definitely be in good use. I'm going to put them on my keys right now. I have little Agretzko here and a hypey Sailor Moon. Okay, I just finished putting on my makeup for today. Honestly, I'm not even leaving the house, so I don't know why I put makeup on, but I really wanted to try the By Beauty Foundation. I actually have tried this a long time ago, so it's been a while, but I'm so happy they sent it to me because it's really hydrating and has pretty good coverage, so yeah, happy with this. Okay, so there's a few things that I want to knock off my list today. The first being taking flat lay shots of some new prints that arrived in the mail yesterday. I have a concept in mind and I bought some backdrop pieces a while ago that I want to use. The second is work on packaging some orders from both my Etsy shop and my Shopify. Before we do all of that, I'm starving so I have to figure out what to eat for lunch. It's already like 2 p.m. And I haven't eaten yet, um, and there's not much in my fridge or pantry, so yeah. Okay, so this is our fridge at the moment. Um, yeah, there's not much. Some eggs, some leftover McDonald's. Obviously, we eat a ton of junk food. I think I'm just gonna make some noodles. I picked this up at H Mart like a couple months ago, and I remember really liking it. Also, since I'm in the pantry, I wanted to show you these super super cute hello kitty pasta i think we picked this up from world market we got two packs but we haven't used it yet because they're so adorable i don't even want to ruin them to take some flat lay shots of my new prints that arrived in the mail yesterday this is what they look like for the flat lay i was thinking of playing with the grass texture that's in the image so i went ahead and bought some fake grass on amazon it came in little squares and i just had to link it together on the back but yeah it looks pretty realistic i think like even after i use it i'll probably just put it outside on my patio because it's really nice
are all the items that I was thinking of incorporating into my flat lay, like these Pocky sticks. I have a bunch of stickers that I bought on eBay from the 90s. I also have some composition notebooks and some binder paper to go with the whole schoolgirl theme. I was thinking of decorating this composition notebook with a bunch of the vintage stickers that I showed you earlier along with my art school dropout sticker pack and have that in the background on the print. Okay, I think I'm done. I'm not gonna do the bottom of the notebook. That really brings me back to my childhood in the 90s. The weather is really, really nice today. It's been really rainy and cloudy for the past week, so I'll probably take advantage of the sun and shoot on my balcony today. So I just finished shooting my flat lay. I think they turned out pretty well. Wearing the cow print earrings that I featured in the photo they were made by Flower Dangles. I'll have their shop linked down below in the description. These are how the photos turned out. I took some vertical shots for my website and also a square version that I can post on Instagram. I really like the direct sunlight in this photo. It created this really cool shadow on the side and I just think it's super pretty. You honestly can't tell that it's like fake grass. It looks pretty legit. Also, I just want to show you what I'm wearing today. I'm wearing this really comfy and oversized sweater by one of my favorite shops, Just Peachy Place. And it has this really cute bunny that says, see you in hell. Look who got sent home early from work today. That's Sean. He's my quarantine partner. <laughs> Since we're going out for Bobo right now, I'm gonna wear this cute Sailor Moon mask made by my friends from Mask Creations. Go and check them out. to get boba but it was closed <sighs> we decided on boba bliss as our second option so we're gonna head there now i think i'm just gonna get like a regular black milk tea or if there's a long milk tea maybe give me give me give me we just picked up our boba thanks sean so I just got home with Sean and I forgot to mention what we picked up at Boba Bliss. I got the oolong milk tea with honey boba and that place is one of my favorite places to get boba in the area. It's so good. The boba is yummy and yeah. This is like my third time getting boba this week. Um, I know I have an obsession but is there really such a thing as too much boba? I'm just gonna package my orders tomorrow morning since I can't go to the post office until Monday anyway and I kind of just want to chill tonight, maybe play some Animal Crossing because it's been forever since I played that game. I think it's been like three months. I really miss my villagers. I don't even know if they remember me. Last year, I remember just spending every single day playing the game and Sean and I would have to fight over the controller. <laughs> um, but yeah, I miss those days.
Good morning! Today is Sunday, March 21st. I just finished getting ready this morning and I don't have too much planned today but my number one priority is definitely packaging my orders because I am heading to the USPS tomorrow to drop those off. Oh, also I want to show you my new little pouch that I bought at Barnes & Noble yesterday. It's no face from Spirited Away. It's like a little keychain and it also has like a zipper on the back. I'll be using this to store my camera in it. So yeah, it's like the perfect size. I'm so happy I found it. Seriously, look how adorable this is. It even has like a little bathhouse ticket in its hand. <sighs> Speaking of cameras, I mentioned in my previous video how the battery of my Sony ZV-1 um, dies really, really quickly. So I went ahead and bought these three batteries and this charging kit from Amazon. It had really, really good reviews. So this should be really handy for me since I do plan on vlogging every single week. So I just want to mention this really adorable Ube sticker that I placed on top. It was designed by my friend Nicole and you can find her on Instagram at Solicole and she does beautiful Filipino art. just finished packaging all of my orders for today. I feel really, really accomplished. I am not used to filming myself and having to move the camera around while I work. But yeah, I'm probably going to spend the next couple hours eating because I'm starving. And I'll also probably just watch some shows or movies on Netflix. Um, yeah. Getting some fresh air. I've been cooped up in the living room for too many hours. Thank you. Thank you. 
we just picked up some pokey and some more boba for lunch. What lovey! I did. <laughs> My stickers for Patreon just arrived in the mail today, so I'm super excited to see how those turn out. happy with how my stickers turned out. This month's theme for my Patreon was Animal Crossing so I drew a little Isabel inside of a Tamagotchi and it just makes me feel really nostalgic about my childhood. So if you want to get your hands on one of these stickers, come join my Patreon. Not only will you get exclusive stickers mailed to you every single month but I also share daily behind the scenes of how I run my small business and I also have a Discord server full of amazing creative and supportive people so I'd love to have you there. Michael's right now and we picked up different wood pieces because we're gonna have an arts and craft night. I think we're gonna draw some Studio Ghibli characters on them so I'm super excited. So today I'll be working on packaging my Patreon mail. I've been meaning to do this for the past couple of days, but life and I finally have a bit of downtime to just sit down and focus. So I'll be doing that for the next few hours.
These are the flat mailers that I use. I ordered them in bulk from papermart.com and right now I use the 6x6 inch size to mail out my Patreon. I think it's the perfect size for sending out stickers because they're very small and if I do end up expanding my tiers and sending out small prints that are like 4x6 or 5x7, these would still work. For extra protection when I send out my prints and my stickers, I use glassine bags. And what's cool about these are that it's a bit transparent, so when you put things like stickers inside of them, you can kind of see it peeking through. I've had these square gingham papers that I bought from Daiso months ago just sitting in my drawer so I decided to make use of them today and fold them into little envelopes. These are how they turned out. They're really tiny and cute and were the perfect size for storing the stickers inside. This is the aftermath, finally done with all 37 envelopes. This took a little longer than expected, but I'm halfway through. All I have to do next is continue writing the individual note cards for each person, packaging them up, printing out addresses, and then putting postage, and then we should be good to go. halfway through my patreon mail i have about 20 more letters to write hopefully i can finish everything in the next hour or so because there are a few other things that i want to take care of tonight i actually received a wholesale order from a company based in north carolina i'll share more details when i can but they did order a lot of t-shirts from my previous collections like my weirdo t-shirt and my inner dreams t-shirt so i'm super 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 excited about that so I just continued writing all the individual notes for my patrons and my hand is starting to cramp, but I need to push through. For every first month as a patron, you'll receive this 4x6 exclusive Cherry Bob Gang print. just finished doing all of my patreon mail it's 8 30 p.m right now so i've been doing this for the past five hours a lot of the tedious work when it comes to my patreon or my store is writing handwritten notes to every single person and i know that as an artist and as my patreon grows i won't be able to do this forever so i do want to enjoy this as long as i can but yeah i know i mentioned that i have t-shirts I need to work on for wholesale tomorrow but I'm feeling super exhausted and I don't want to overwhelm myself so I think I'm gonna push it off for tonight and work on it once I wake up in the morning. I honestly can't think of work right now so I'm just gonna chill. Hello today is Friday March 26th. I just got back from Target not too long ago because I picked up the Animal Crossing Sanrio Amiibo cards and oh my god, it was such a struggle to get these. I actually woke up super early to order these online. I woke up like at 5.55 a.m., checked out at 6 a.m. And for some reason, even though I was able to put the Amiibo cards in my cart, I was unable to place my order 
because it would say that it was unavailable so I just had to keep refreshing the checkout page constantly and it wasn't until an hour in that I was finally able to get through. I was really lucky in that way. Um, I ended up going back to sleep at around 7.30 and then waking up again at 10.30 to go to Target to pick it up and they're finally here. I obviously don't need two so I'll probably host a giveaway on my Instagram for people that were unable to get them because I know it was pretty difficult. So I was actually thinking of making this a Patreon exclusive giveaway because I'm so thankful for my patrons. This would of course include the Amiibo card, an Isabel keychain, and the monthly Patreon sticker which is the Isabel Tamagotchi sticker. Okay, I'm gonna take some flatly photos of all the prizes so that I can post it on Instagram in a couple hours. This is the flat lay that I currently set up for my giveaway. I'll shoot some photos with my iPhone and then post this on Instagram. So I'm finally going to tackle the wholesale order that I mentioned yesterday. Right now, I'm going to unbox all of the t-shirts that came straight from my manufacturer. Product quality check every single piece and then neatly organize them into another box so that I can ship them out to the company that ordered wholesale from me. For reference, they ordered about 28 t-shirts of my weirdo design and also my In Your Dreams design. Um, I had to order a minimum quantity from my manufacturer, so there's a few extras that I'm probably going to put up on my website sometime over the weekend. They also ordered 16 pins for me, my art school dropout ones, and my lady lug ones. Once I'm through with all of the t-shirts, I'll move on to my pins and I should be done for the day. I also forgot to mention that the store that ordered wholesale for me is called Edge of Urge. They're based in North Carolina. But definitely let me know if you see it. I'm based in California so I can't travel there to actually see it in person. But if you are from there, please snap a picture and send it to me. That would be amazing. It's so crazy to imagine my products in a physical store. Um, I never imagined that this was possible. So this is definitely a big milestone for me as an artist. I really hope that I can continue doing this and expanding my brand because I just want to share my art with the world. And I want to get this shipped out ASAP, so yeah, let's get started. Okay, so this is the first t-shirt design that they ordered. This is my Inner Dreams t-shirt. It was printed in platisol ink on a 100% cotton black t-shirt. Um, it's really thick material, which I'm happy about, and I think it turned out pretty good. And this is the second t-shirt design that they ordered. It's personally a favorite of mine just because it's one of the first t-shirt designs that I ever released for my small brand. So yeah, it has a special place in my heart. I also printed this using Platisol ink on the same quality of t-shirt, except this color is off-white. And here's a closer look at the print. As always, the company that I work with always does such an incredible job. Um, super high quality and... Right now, I'm just double checking that my manufacturer sent the correct amount of inventory and it looks like everything's good to go.
I finished all of my wholesale stuff. It is currently 5.30 p.m. and surprisingly it did not take me as long as I thought it would. I honestly thought it would take me all day. I don't- fuck. Fly! Did I get it? Anyway, I think I'm rambling. My sister are currently on the way. They live 10 minutes away from me, so I'm gonna get ready and I'll try to get some footage while I'm out. But if I'm not, it means I'm just enjoying some quality time with my family. Um, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next clip. So today is Saturday and I'm headed out to have some lunch and go shopping a bit with my family.